finally gotten to the point now where I want to set up a, an Excel spreadsheet uh, to compute the length of the sides and the uh, size of the angles in a triangle uh, when we're given the coordinates of the three vertices of the triangle. In uh, several previous videos, I talked about the sort of the theoretical concepts behind that. Now I actually want to set it up in the spreadsheet. Um, I sort of have already started it here, but um, uh, let me reiterate what I'm what I want to do. As, uh, as right, um, uh, these represent uh, the x and y coordinates of the first vertex of a triangle. Triangle is three vertices. X and y coordinates of the second. X and y coordinates of the third. And then I'm repeating the first again, and you'll see why that's the case in just a minute. But uh, for the time being here, um, I'm, I'm going to want to move these down to set up some, uh, some labels, text up here in a minute. And then this represents uh, the, the first coordinate, 0, 1, in a more familiar mathematical notation, the way you usually write it down. Um, so uh, at the moment, let me, uh, let me copy this up here. And then I'll explain how I do that. And I'm going to move everything down so I can put in some text labels. So first, I want to I'm going to cut this out and put this one right up here. So to cut it out, I select it. I've already have it selected right here. I selected, and I'm using a, a 2008 Excel for Macintosh here. It's an old old version of Excel, and uh, so the uh, the commands and the location of how I execute various functions might be different in your version. In fact, almost surely it is. Um, one of the little annoyances of using Excel is they make these little small changes in, in, uh, in how you do things, even though it's the same thing. Uh, so when you move from one version to another, sometimes you have to figure a lot of stuff out for new. But right now I'm going to cop cut this. So I do Command X. Notice I get the walking ants going around my my selection, okay. And then I said I want to move it up here, so uh, let me move it here, and then I'll do Command V on my Mac to move it up there. Now let me move everything down a couple of places. So I'm going to take go here, copy this whole range of cells by clicking, and holding down my Shift key and clicking again. I want to cut, get the walking ants again. And let's say I want to move it to right here. I click on that cell, do a paste, and everything moves down. Okay, now I want to put some text up here so as to label the numbers in these columns. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to merge these two cells like this. Tools, Format, Cells, uh, Alignment. Now, this is an example of something that's probably different in your version of Excel. Is is where you find the merge cells uh, command. I do merge cells. So notice these two two cells merge. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Now I want to put in a triangle uh, vertices. Okay. Move this out of the way. Vertices. Hit return. Now, now I'm going to put. Uh, I, I want to take this text perhaps and center it in the cell. So, in order to accommodate that, I can select and hit that. This put r puts things to the left of the cell. This will put things centered. This will move things to the right. So, triangle vertices. And now I'll write. Uh, X coordinate, Y coordinate. So maybe I'll write those up here too. X coordinate, X coordinate, return, Y coordinate, ah, Y coordinate, just type it in. Now I'm going to want to just move all this stuff to the center of their respective cells. So I want to select it. So select, hold down shift, select, 
Now to center it, I go right here like that. That centers everything. Okay, now, how, why, what am I doing here? I want to write, I just write this um, the way you would normally write it if you were doing a, a math problem. You'd write uh, parentheses, x comma y, close parentheses. And to do that, I use the concatenate function. So you have to go to wherever you find functions in your, um, in your version of Excel. I find them right here where it has a summation symbol, the uppercase sigma, where I find all of my functions. I click on that, it says more functions, click on that. Well, they're supposed to come up. There, there they are. And uh, then this is a list of all the functions. As the most recent functions I've used right up here in the beginning, most recent functions, one is concatenate. Okay, and that's the one I used, concatenate. Now, what concatenate does is it takes various uh, text and cell contents and it puts them together in a uh, set of letters, symbols uh, in text and plops that into the cell. So how do I do this concatenate? Let's look up here if you can see. I have the command, I have equal the command concatenate. And I'm going to put whatever it is I want to concatenate inside the parentheses. So I have the parentheses for the for the function concatenate. And that's what this and this one here are. <coughs> and everything I want to have printed inside the cell goes in between those two parentheses. So first thing I do want to do is actually print a parentheses. So notice that what I do here is I have quote, and in between two quotes, I have the parentheses. That tells uh, the Excel that I want to print this symbol with the open parentheses. Now I want to separate symbols and concatenate with commas. So first symbol is an open parentheses, comma. Second symbol is going to be whatever is in cell A4. This is cell A4 right here. So I'm saying then I want to print whatever this value is, and the value is zero. Put another comma. Then I want to put a comma, right? I want to have a comma between the x coordinate and the y coordinates. So again, between two parentheses, I just type a comma. Now I put a, another comma if you're separating the content of the cell of the function concatenate. Then I type in my y coordinate, which is b4. That's this. So I want, I want it to print parentheses, um, x-coordinate, comma, y-coordinate, and then I want it to print a closed parentheses. So to do that, I put a comma. Then between two co quotes, I put a closed parentheses. So this is how I define uh, what I want to print in cell C4 with this concatenate function. If I hit return. It does exactly that, comma, zero, comma, one, close parentheses. Now I want to repeat this function in these two cells below, but instead of having zero, one, I want to do three, four, and five, four. So to do that nicely, the way Excel works, all I have to do is drag this corner down just like that, and it does it. Let's look at this, what, it, what this cell is doing right there. There's a concatenate, um, and then I have between the two quotes, again, I have an open parenthesis. Now it has A5, which is this cell, B5, which is this cell, a uh, comma between them, and then a, then a closed parenthesis. So whatever is in here, when I drag it down, uh, the, uh, the arguments for the cells all increase by one. In other words, these arguments refer to these two cells, these arguments will refer to these two cells, these arguments will refer to these two cells. It's a nice property in Excel, makes some things a lot easier, but it can also uh, cause problems if you are not doing it properly. Now again, this right here is just a repetition of the first vertex. Triangles don't normally have four vertices. And you'll see why I'm doing that right here. 
But at the moment, what I want to do is I want to select these cells right here in this column, and I want to do a chart. So I'll hit chart. Now, what kind of chart do I want to use here? I want to do an XY scatter, so I print on that. And then for the time being, let's say uh, I want to do an X and Y scatter where the points on the chart have, uh, you know, have little squares or circles or whatever on them. So I'll click that. And then I do the chart gives me, uh, gives me that operation. So here are the three vertices of the triangle. Uh, here's a graph. And the reason why, how this, this is working, it's an XY scatter plot. These are the coordinates of the first vertex, 0, 1. You see that 0, 1. These are the coordinates of the second vertex. That should be 3, 4. And you see that's exactly what it is, 3, 4, 3, 4. The coordinates of the third vertex should be 5, 4. So I have 5 and then 4. So that's right. And then I put the, the coordinates of the first vertex again in. And that's what, allowed, that's what makes it draw that line. So this is the line drawn from the first to the second coordinate, line drawn from the second to the third coordinate, line drawn from the third coordinate back to the first coordinate, and it draws the triangle for me. Now, I'm thinking, you know, I don't really need these symbols right at the vertices. So if I click on this, they go away. I don't want this in here either. So I click on that, and then I delete, and then that gets rid of that. So. Now I've actually have Excel drawing my triangle. Now something else I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to label these vertices. Now to do that, I'm going to use uh, the uh, 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 a different um, a different operation. First, I'm going to find a text box where I want. Or I'm going to put a text box right in the in the middle of this graph, and in the text box, I want to put comma zero comma one comma. And so I'm going to put something that says uh, vertices, and then I want to put the three coordinates written in that way. So let me let me do a text box first. Now, um, I haven't done this for a long time, so it may take me a minute here to figure it out. I am going to get rid of this, and this is in the way. Now I'm going to just click somewhere. Now I want to insert a text box, and I can do it. Okay, notice that I'm, uh, I, I've just clicked on a cell, or let's say, let me click on the this. If I click on that, it won't, doesn't give me insert text box. If I click on a cell, it gives me an insert text box. I don't know why. So I'll go text box. And now notice it gives me a, a little letter A here. So I can put this text box where I want. Let me put it over here. OK. And I'm going to put uh, type vertex coordinates, V-E-R-T-E-X, vertex or in, in vertex coordinates, just like that. Then I can move this text box over a little bit if I want to. I'll just leave it right there for now. Okay, now I'm just going to click here, and I have that, vertex coordinates. Now what I want to do is just put these three things right under it. So to do that, I'm going to do another text box. And uh, so I go to Insert. Text box there, put it right here, let's say. There's my text box. Oh, I don't know what happened. Um, let me try. Undo move plot area. I don't want to undo these. I think that'll undo that text box. Let me try this again. Click on that, insert text box. Now, right here, I'll put that, make it a little bit bigger. I think I want to move it up, too. So I can move the bottom up, move the top up, 
unfortunately I should have put it all just a little bit higher there like that. Now right here I click in there I'm inside the cell and right up here I'm going to type equal and um, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to hit return and see what happens. Okay almost it's got me zero one and then a comma let me pull this over a little bit like that there it's got that so that's the first one okay now i can move this whole thing up if i want again i just click on here and move it up just like that there so there is the first vertex now notice i did an equal notice you have the dollar signs here and uh, i'll explain um uh, if I haven't done it in class already, I'll explain what those dollar signs mean, but you don't need to be concerned with this at the moment. I want to put the coordinates, two more vertices in for the coordinates. So there I have vertex coordinates is that. Now I want to do another text box. So I click again. Then I do insert text box. And I put right here. Let me move the top up a little bit, the bottom up, maybe make this a little bit bigger, like that, maybe even a little bit bigger than that. Click inside, and then I'll put equal up here, and then I click on this. And then hit return, and then notice again, okay, I got to get that bigger there. Now I can move this text box over like that. There. So that's a second text box. Now I put the third text box for the third vertex. So, so I'm going to again put insert text box. Gives me this. I'll put this right down here. There. Okay. Make that a little bit bigger like that. I put equal up here. equal, click on this, hit return, there it is. Okay, now I move this up. And I'm trying to manually align it so it looks kind of neat. That looks almost good enough. So then I click out here. So now inside the graph I have the uh, the vertices, uh, the coordinates of the vertices for the triangle. Okay, now, uh, so you see that the reason why I put this uh, this repeat of the first one is that when I do the a scatter chart with this option right here, the the uh, Excel will just uh, draw the lines between. Um, this point, 0, 1, to this point, 3, 4, to this point, 5, 4, and then back to 0, 1 again. Now, I could uh, um, label this if I wanted to. Uh, something else I might want to do is just get rid of these lines here. Now, how would I do that, I wonder? Um, let me go to a... Uh, toolbox and A, there's, so here is my toolbox for the chart because I clicked on the chart. Now, somewhere in here is probably a place where I can eliminate these horizontal lines. Uh, labels, none, I have no labels. Grid lines, this could be it. Let's click. So I click on that, grid lines. If I do that, it does those. I don't want those. Do that, it takes away those lines. Okay, that's exactly what I want. Now, I'm looking at this, and I don't want these text boxes going down that far. Maybe I want to move them up. So let me try that. Now, let me click on the text box. There. Click on this text box. Here. There, that text box. I want to move it up. Click on this text box. Move it up. Click on this text box. Move it up.
Okay, boy, it's hard getting them perfect, isn't it? There, one, there, okay, good enough. Okay, now, um, that's all for now. I'm going to do uh, another video on uh, how we actually compute uh, the sides and the angles uh, for that triangle. Uh, so uh, until then.